Giving birth it can be stressful at the best of times, but what if you found yourself doing it at home with no one to help you and all the while trying to keep a toddler calm as well? For a young mother from Southampton, that's exactly what happened when she unexpectedly gave birth on the toilet. Richard Stringer went to meet her. This little bundle of joy is baby Gabrielle, just five days old and blissfully unaware of the drama that surrounded her birth. For mum Megan though, her daughter's birth is an event that she will never forget, but not for the reasons you might think. I woke up about half past five with my son. Um, he asked for juice and I got up with him about quarter to six in the end. When I got up to make the juice, uh, I had the first contraction. And after having the first contraction, I had, I had another couple of contractions, but they, they weren't regular, they were quite irregular. So... Again, I just brushed it off thinking it was a bit of wind. I run myself a bath um, <clears throat> to try and settle the pain and it started crowning. So I got out of the bath um, to find, obviously I was about to have this baby on the toilet. So the baby ended up coming. She, got, she went head first down the toilet. I took her out, <clears throat> cleared her airways, put her in a towel and rung the ambulance then because I could do that because um, I could get my phone then but all this was going on whilst I was talking to Oscar on the baby monitor who was in the other room I was saying things like it's okay baby like it's a bit early it's not morning yet you go back to sleep you go nate nate you know just trying to soothe him trying to comfort him trying to like keep him oblivious to what was going on in here when the paramedics turned up, they, they were lost for one. I had to go down and guide them a little bit. And I had to go back down. This is after I'd given birth to the placenta at this point. Um, I went down with the placenta in one towel, baby in the other towel, and found the ambulance, who then come up, um, very shocked with what had happened. And... I cut the cord then. I didn't even know I was in labour until I was crowning. Um, I just did it. I just had to do it. Had to look after Oscar, make sure this baby was okay as well. I had to, you know, just trying to be a mum, trying to keep everyone safe at the same time, trying to keep Gabrielle warm, trying to keep Oscar calm. You just, you just do it. You just do it as a mum. Megan hasn't been alone much, though, since the birth, receiving help from friends and family, as well as her local church group. They've been brilliant. I mean, my mum, she, she, hasn't, she hasn't stopped. She's just been absolutely brilliant, um, running around after me. Like, I, felt, I felt useless in the hospital, to be honest, because all my family were doing all this, these kind things for me. I've had several visits from members of the church, and they've been really supportive, they've brought me meals, they've brought clothes, they've been really, really good to me, and to Gabrielle as well. But what about when this little water baby is all grown up? Will her mum tell her the real story behind her birthday? She will find out when she's older. I will tell her. Um, I plan on writing it all out in my own words as well, so she's got something to look back on, and obviously there'll be the articles and stuff too, which she'll be able to look at. She she knows she's going to be a special baby, like, she'll know. Quite a few women do panic, and everything, absolutely everything went wrong in my situation. Um, I, I had three birthing partners, none of which I could get hold of. Um, obviously, I was supposed to be in the hospital as well. She was, she was in the incubator after she fell down the toilet on a course of antibiotics. She was on a breathing machine. She was being tube fed, um, the tube down her throat. Uh, but by the afternoon, she had come off the breathing machine. They'd taken the tube out. She was on the breast. Uh, and she's been doing really well. And she's just gone uphill since. And I want women out there to know that if things do go wrong, they it's OK. It's OK. Like, just stay calm, take control of the situation, and everything should work out for the best. And I'm glad to report that both mother and child are happy and doing well. This is Richard Stringer for That Solent.